the, I want to talk about the fucking Google stuff, but I want to make fun of JonTron first because, oh my God, is it funny? Oh my fucking God, okay? Okay, this shit is funny as fuck, if you ask me, personally, okay? I'm not going to get into the actual topic, but I want to point out that this is very funny, okay? Here we go. Just trust the science, bro, says JonTron. JonTron has been making harmless content recently and infrequently, but what's the drama? Oh, he he's like anti-Fauci. Just trust the science, bro, clap, clap, clap. Bipartisan legislators demand answers from Fauci on alleged puppy experiments. The White Coat Waste Project reported that the researchers launched dogs in cages with hungry sand flies so the insects could eat them. Uh, allegedly, 44 beagle puppies were used in a North Africa laboratory and some of the dogs had their vocal cords removed so scientists could work without incessant barking. So this is the Just Trust the Science Bro post, okay? This is this is John Tron just trust the science bro and then he's referring to a alleged animal abuse that occurred uh, that apparently is somehow attached to Fauci and I, there's like numerous ways that like we could talk about this you know because like I don't know what I don't know what a North African experiment has to do with Fauci in the first place. What this sounds like is like one of those um, right wing things. You know how like sometimes you'll see a boomer post that references a bunch of stuff that you've literally never heard of. You know that? You know what I'm talking about? Like, um, like you'll go on to like Facebook and they'll be like all it almost looks like it's written in code. You know, uh, you'll you'll go and look at it and it's like it's like. Fauci, like, this happened with the Hunter Biden thing, where, remember when the Hunter Biden uh, laptop thing was happening, and you would get, like, they, you would have, like, a boomer relative, or a conservative commentator, or whatever, and they'd come up to you, and they would be like, yeah, well, Us Uspel Falovsky passed off the, the uh, laptop to the Chinese representative, uh, she uh, she Mahjong, and then it's like, okay, um, and then that person handed it off to, uh, to, to John, J Colonel John Hinklebarrow, and then, and then that's how we know that it was actually code when Hunter Biden referred to, J uh, Joe Biden as Big Joe, and you're just like, what? What? This is what this feels like to me. I don't know what I even just said. I couldn't repeat to you what I just said. I can't repeat to you what the connection between Fauci and do sand flea ridden dogs or something that can't bark. I, I just, it's, so I don't know. Is this something that has been roiling in right wing spaces? Is this just incoherent posting from a strange internet man? Is this a mental breakdown in public? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't think any of us know anymore. I don't even know if JonTron knows. But what I can say is that this has 107, 1,775 retweets, 702 quote retweets, 14,000 likes, and the message of this post, even if it is incoherent, is not incoherent. The message is vaccines are bad that's what the message is unfortunately despite all of this being incoherent just trust the science bro with a picture of fauci the guy who's in charge of vaccination in our country that's an anti-vax post what you're seeing there dipped in code do you do you see what i'm saying why this is like a bad thing because I don't know if you know right now, but a lot of people are dying from COVID in the United States of America. I'm sure everyone who watches my show is very familiar with that fact. Because, you know, I bring it up all the time, like all the time, like constantly. Like, you know, you know, basically every single stream, I, I remind people that the uh, that we're we're still losing a lot, a lot of people to COVID right now. 
you know, I like to bring up this, uh, you know, I like to bring up these stats here, you know, you know that we're up to 7, 736,000 fatal cases that we've got, uh, uh, 45 million confirmed cases of COVID in the United States, almost 46 million. You know, yeah, only a couple. Yeah, only only a little more. Only you know more than World War One, World War Two. Yeah, it's, it's very weird, you know. And and I have to wonder, like, what is it that what is it that would possess John Tron to make such a message like this? Because you know, like you said, he doesn't really he doesn't really dip into politics often, does he? Here's their all sides info. Oh yeah, New York Post is a right wing rag. Of course, we know this. Yes. Yeah, we know. They lean right. We know. Yeah. Yeah, they did all this. They did the, the New York Post was like the one that was peddling all of the Hunter Biden laptop shit. But it's just like, I don't know. Like, do you see where we're at with regard to like Do you see where we're at with regard to like how extremely easily disprovable misinformation can just go out of control? You know, he's usually anti-science and pro-white nationalism. Yeah, that's been my experience. You know, every time he tweets something political now, it's a universe crushing L. Yeah, it really does seem like that, doesn't it? It seems like the L, the L factor has gone, uh, has, has gone way up. Now, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't really know about any of these beagles or, or, or sand fleas, or I, I don't know anything about any of this shit. Maybe it's true. Maybe Anthony Fauci personally killed 44 dogs. That could be true. Yeah, the sand pest. Yeah, uh-oh, shit. Things are getting really real now. But the question is, sorry, goodness. Those are deagle. Those, <laughs> they're beagles. Beagles. I got the vaccine. Does that mean I have autism squared? Yes. The sandworms. Yeah, I know. Things are getting weird. The symbolism in real life and media is getting real weird. Uh, but the, the question that I have is like, okay, so what does this change? So wait, let's pretend that Anthony Fauci is like a dog killing monster. Is he correct about the vaccine? Is, is, how does him killing dogs have anything to do with whether he's correct or incorrect about the vaccine anyway? This is the epitome of brain soup like a uh, 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 word association nonsense apparently the idea that's going on in this post is that anthony fauci and the vaccines are bad because anthony fauci might somehow be attached to some experiment that may have hurt dogs I, I just want to know, like, I just want to point out, I don't even want to know because I know that it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if the logic is there because what this type of post is playing on is bias. Do you understand? It's playing on bias. Hold on, hold on. And to be clear, they don't care about animal experimentation. They only care about this specific animal testing. That's the next thing I wanted to talk about. Okay, so last I checked... John Tron is not a vegan. Do we know what the conditions are like in in uh in in animal agriculture? Oh, I don't even know if this is we don't even know if this is real. This is like layers of nonsense. But but look at how much attention it's getting. No one's going to look into this because this is a post meant to incite based on bias on bias. This is meant to make neurons activate and go oh, i hate anthony fauci oh i hate those liberals that's what this is so none of no we all know this is being retweeted by fucking conservatives i bet we could scroll through here and after we get to like the original retweets because of course there's going to be all the people retweeting it now who are who are making fun of him but if we go back to the originals i'm sure you scroll long enough on here you will hit a wall of dudes with uh sunglasses and american flags in the back like, we're just, it's just inevitable. Oh, and Pepe the Frogs and all that shit. That's where you're going to get eventually. Of course, now it's getting picked up by by everybody and everybody's like, oh, we, oh, we're starting to get, oh, there's a Pepe right there. We got Pepe 
Oh, we got the American flag right there. Oh, let's see. Oh, we got an anime avatar. Okay, oh shit. Oh, we got another anime avatar. Oh, fuck. Hold on, there was a Wojak down here. We got, oh, I don't know about this one. These are just some people, some random ones mixed in there. Got a whole lot of, oh, here comes the, here comes the little feels good man rage shit. There we go. It's starting to happen. I told you, you scroll down far enough and you're going to get there. We're going to get to where it will only be uh, Wojaks and Pepes and dudes with sunglasses and American flags. It's going to happen. It's inevitably going to happen. You know it's inevitably going to happen. You just keep scrolling here. It's going to happen. It's just how it goes. Here we go. We're starting to see him. A freedom-loving American. Yeah, there's been a couple of jokers we scrolled by. You'll get there. It's just there's like thousands of people now. So you got to scroll a ways down to the people who initially unironically retweeted it. Because now, you know, to filter through the ironic retweeters. Yeah, politics-free anime. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so they'll make a huge deal about this particular thing. And then they will go on to support American animal agriculture. I'm going to tell you an unfortunate truth, everybody. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready for this, okay? I, I don't think um, that you're, uh, you're, you're prepared to hear this. The default. Every time you buy a pack of bacon here in America, you are, you are buying a pack of bacon that was produced with mass animal torture worse than anything in this article yeah i'm serious i'm dead serious you know what the standard practice for pig farming in america is in america they make pigs stand in a cage that is sized exactly to them they cannot move they cannot turn around in front of them they have sustenance and behind them they just go to the bathroom and they stand in their own sewage Thousands of pigs lined up just like this. Sometimes they get so fat that they grow into the bars of their cage. And in order to prevent them from getting sick, from standing in their own piss and shit all day, they inject them with antibiotics so that the sores that they get, just uh, the, the, the bacteria dies, and then they keep getting sick because it, they're, they're only supposed to be alive long enough to be, uh, to be bred or to be chopped up into meat. That is the default. That is every single day there are millions of animals that are living in conditions just like that. And yet you and and it's just so funny that the only time these conservatives ever even try to give a shit, any time that the only time conservatives ever try to give a shit is when it's something that they can weaponize against fucking vaccines or against critical race theory or against some other uh, actually important civil rights issue. E Eddie says, I'm a butcher and I get pigs and cows with blisters and sores on them all the time. It is literally constant. The entire animal agriculture industry is built on horrific torture of living creatures. And you want to know what's worse? Sorry, everybody. Content warning. Content warning real quick literal systemic rape sorry it's just true you don't like it you think it's bad you think it's bad that we rape animals guess what that's what that's what our, that is what is required for meat eating it is absolutely required for meat eating meat eating you think those you think that pigs you think that pigs just have sex with each other like normally you think that cows just have sex with each other normally on a nice little farm no they have machines that in that impregnate them and that extract their fucking uh their fucking cum it's terrible they don't do the nasty and the nasty they're not even allowed to do that they don't even get to live that it's bad the industry, Husker Du says, the industry term for cages dairy cows are kept in during insemination is called a rape rack. Yeah, that's how serious it is. That's how serious it is. So, uh, I know that this is a very, very uh, 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 violent thing to talk about. But just remember that. When you see stupid idiots like JonTron uh, making these, these incoherent... Uh, 
un un imparsable posts that are ultimately just saying don't get your vaccine that this is the this is the like spineless coward's way of saying i don't give a shit about anything i just think that i want to own the libs this is this is a guy who's too afraid to just own up and say he wants to own the libs by coughing in their face and instead makes a nonsense post that is insultingly thinly veiled do you find eating meat from local and family farms to be more ethical? Uh, of course it's more ethical. Uh, I, I do think that the commodification of animals is uh, generally problematic. I think we should avoid it to the best of our ability. I, of course, am not a fool. I think there are circumstances in which you have no choice but to eat meat. Um, but, uh, but yes, that is, that is uh, secondary to the point at hand. The point at hand being that conservatives don't give a shit about animal rights. Conservatives... Uh, conservatives only ever make a stink about animal rights when they can also try to own joe biden or something stupid about that and in addition of course we know that we don't even know if this story is even remotely true i don't even know if it's even remotely true john tron's channel has 6.66 million followers we should have that many i agree do you know how crazy shit would get if i had 6.66 million followers we would be changing the world I would be telling jokes that would keep people laughing. I would change comedy forever. Seriously. Seriously. No, no, none of this shit. Anyway. So yeah, that's the JonTron thing. A little, I just wanted to do a little short segment on that. I think you'll have fun with it. Uh, JonTron is an idiot, uh, a disingenuous, soup-brained fool who can occasionally make a funny game about videos, but every time he opens his mouth on politics, it does da it does psychic damage to the to the entire population of the planet Earth. Eddie says, Rhode Island or Maine are looking to make a right to food bill that will make it easier for people to grow livestock stock and veggies in city limits. That's fucking awesome. That is so good. That is seriously so good. These are the same people who revel in their bacon memes. Yeah, oh my god, hold on. Let's just see real quick. I want to see if, he, if, he, if he's ever done an epic bacon midnight post. Well, here's one of him making fun of it. Here's him making fun of a, of, of a bacon thing. But it, but it sort of implies that he may have ordered it. I want to see if he's ever made an epic bacon post. Come on. Come on. He's got to have. I know he's made an epic bacon post. Oh, I love bacon. Oh God, John, John, you have returned. Bacon be with you. God, 2017 sucked. God, 2017 sucked.